This is the Rising Phoenix dev, and today we're going to look at how to set up Visual Studio Code to work with Unity 3D. So, before we get into changing from Visual Studio or Mono to Visual Studio Code, let's first create a brand new C Sharp script. There we go, and we'll just open it up in Visual Studio. So that way it prepares the CS project and everything, and we don't have to worry about that. There. Now we can exit Visual Studio, or Mono Develop, depending on which one you're using. Click on Edit, Preferences, External Tools. Now, for anyone that just installed Visual Studio Code, this would not be there. Instead, you would have to click on Browse, go to your Program Files folder, navigate to Microsoft VS Code, click on Code Open, then it will automatically add Visual Studio Code to the external script editor and close. So now, we can double click on it and it will open up in Visual Studio Code. And for the most part, not really too much you have to do. You can do var go equals get component, and you can do everything that you normally would in Visual Studio. Now, there is a caveat when you install Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. I would highly recommend that you get the C Sharp extension for Visual Studio Code and the debugger for Unity. That way, when you click on debug, you can open configuration and set it to the right one. Save. So, if we click on install additional debuggers, we'll see C, 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 make sure you get C. Sharp. There's a giant list, so you can sort by what you want. So, for example, if you click on it, you can just type C. Sharp. And it will show you everything you need. Or you can type Unity, and the very first one is the debugger. I would also highly recommend that you get the Shader Labs VS Code extension. It adds syntax highlighting and a few other things for Shader Labs code in Unity. Now, if you don't mind, I have to go eat these bitches for touching this computer the way they are. This is the Rising Phoenix dev. Signing out.